you're welcome. I'm grateful once more to be in your presence, once more to pick the audience of your attention. This is Roger Svanzagiro, once more, <clears throat> a servant of God with no boundaries. We are grateful to have you completed what is forgiveness, what is unforgiveness, and therefore we even looked at the lasting requirements for, com for complete forgiveness. Today I want to draw a light for you in what happens to you as an individual when you do not forgive others. From the Lord's Prayer, when we recite it together, in your heart there, as I'm talking, you are remembering it. There's one phrase, as it is in Matthew chapter 6, from verse 8 onward to 15, there is a phrase that says, forgive us our sins, as forgive those who forgive who sin against us. And therefore, that is automatic, that if you do not forgive others, you, you are not also being forgiven. The Lord will not forgive you. Or it will be hard for other people to forgive you if you do not forgive others. The Lord's prayer states clear there. And all of us who always say that prayer, who always pray, pray, pray it from the bottom of our heart, we need to forgive. So if we do not forgive others, we automatically also say we are not supposed to be forgiven. Now, if you do not do that, what happens? Unforgiveness of others is the reason why you and other people around you are suffering with a lot of temptations, are suffering to overcome temptations because you are filled with a lot of guilt in your life. For you have some people you have harbored. So if you forgive them, the guilt shall go away. The, the struggling to overcome temptations shall reduce. So three, let's term number three, that the torment, the suffering you are passing through because of unforgiveness shall affect you physically, socially, mentally, even spiritually. Spiritually, you may even be praying but you don't feel that hope that you are answered because you have a lot of guilt in your life. So that is also another effect of not forgiving others. And I just want also to let you know that the levels of suffering, the levels of torment will increase in your heart. The levels of uncomfort will increase with the number of people or the number of persons at your heart not forgiven. The more people you hold not forgiven, is the more you'll be uncomfortable. So it is good to forgive. If you do not forgive, you'll be uncomfortable. Even you have a lot of money, even when you are in church praying, even in church in a given ministry, but when you have not forgiven people, you'll not be comfortable. The peace that God promised in Philippians chapter 6, verse 6 and 7 will not come to you because guilt is too much. Therefore, the other point that he will happen to you when you don't forgive others. I just want to assure you that the uncomfort because of unforgiveness cannot go away because you pray, you are an intercessor, because you, you have good works, or because you are a minister, you hold a department in the church, but it only go away when you forgive others. I just want to show you how unforgiveness spreads in our lives. It spreads from deep to deeper, to deepest. And therefore, you will begin with having ill feelings with a person. I think I'm talking to you there. Ill feelings to that person. And those ill feelings will assure you that you don't forgive that person. Now, Look at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, it reads that be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Hear that. 
But you who has promised not to forgive, you will hold ill feelings. Not, you will not be tender hearted. And those ill feelings, you will decide not to forgive. Two, you will be displeased. You will have displeasure in your heart about that person. You are hostile. You oppose every time. You are, you are strong in heart. Strong negativity at heart about that person. If I'm talking these steps and they are yours, you better ask if a person near you who has known God to pray for you that the spirit of unforgiveness leaves you. After being displeased, you will always close your heart towards that person. So, you now have a negative emotion. You have closed about that, the heart about that person, and therefore, is no way according to you. Is no way. You have ignored him, and sometimes you pretend to say that I have forgiven him. Again, you are ready to defame. You are ready to defame his name in gossips, to malice that person. That means you are going deeper, from deep just, from just being displeased, you are now ready to defame. You are ready to destroy. You are ready to damage his name. And I'm telling you at that level, you are glad when you hear somebody is suffering. Look at that level you are. If you have reached that level of being glad when you hear somebody suffering because of the heart it did to you, then you are going to deep. You are coming from deep to deepest. Another step, you repeatedly rehearse, rehearse the wrongs he has done, either to you or to another person. But those past wrong things, you will keep remembering them. That shows you are going deepest to levels of unforgiveness. My friend, you will always avoid the contact. If you avoid the contact, this is the limitation I've talked about in the beginning. If you don't want to be close to people, to such a person, you are, you've already built now a lock on your door of the prison you built in that person, in your heart for that person. You don't want to meet those people. You think even when you see them, it's enough to, to make you feel hurt. You are filled with hate. You are sloping from deep to deeper, deepest. Finally, you wish to harm that person. And as you wish to harm that person, you now desire to pay back. That's the deepest level. You are going down, you can even kill at this level. That's where the statement says that if you don't forgive a person, you have already killed that person. Because to you, he deserves to be nowhere for you not to meet him. My friends, here you curse, you can scheme to hurt, you can wish with other people to harm that person. Don't wish any good thing. There's no way such a deep feeling can get from you, apart from when you have Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ forgave all those who hurt him. God bless you as you try to get out of unforgiveness.